dear friends namaste today we are going to discuss an important topic on the unlocking of four kendra houses but before that as we are going to interfere with the jurisdiction of the creator the eighth house of occult we should take his permission so please repeat with me Om Namo Narayanaaye O Lord please forgive my sins and grant me the permission to understand the secrets of your creation Friends this topic is little tough and lengthy to understand need calmness in the minds of the viewers so i divided the total concept into two parts i hope it would help to stay tuned with the topic to understand how to unlock and activate these houses and to succeed in these goals of life in the first part we will try to understand the meaning and the logic behind this concept and activation of first goal of life that is dharma bhava in the second part we will take the rest of three goals with in depth significance of each okay to start the topic four kendras are the four goals of life as you know these are dharma artha karma and moksha this sequence is based on the movement of sun as the true representative of dharma the first house dharma kendra is sunrise which signify self and its recognition then the artha kendra afternoon the 10th house shows the karma on the whole third comes kama kendra sunset the 7th house it is the door through which people are coming in and going out of your life and lastly the moksha kendra midnight the 4th house is the sukha bhava happiness and comforts first to sixth houses of the kalpursha kundli are in the invisible half and the next six houses comes in the visible half the invisible half is the process of creation and the visible half shows the manifestation of maya start from the first house what is its importance and role in the creation the significator of this house is sun the spiritual fire which gave birth to air saturn and that signify thoughts at the abstract level a thought comes up in the mind of brahma to create something so the first house is is connected with sun and also with brahma savitur gayatri then comes the second house what is it those abstract thoughts of the first house moves forward and needs some vision power to see the form the rupa the creation here the role of fire element starts here expression of thoughts get power of visualization third house with the help of ether element those expressions 
get strength here. This house is denominated to Purushartha, the strength to unite the form. Thereafter, the fourth house, earth element. Those thoughts here take some physical form. Strength of expressions get shaped here. In the creation process, the fifth house of water element helps to show the colors of the physical form, the taste, good or bad of the thoughts and ability to differentiate it. This process is applied on all the creations, even on the man-made. At abstract level, a thought comes up in your mind to make a toy. That's a first house. Then you think how it should look like. Design, visualization. This is the second house. Then you unite both what I thought and the design. Are the both same? This is the third house. Then time comes to give it a physical shape. Fourth house. You give it the colors and evaluate on the whole, minus and plus. It is the fifth house. Now you are ready to open the door. Sixth house. And you are free to show it to others. Open world of seventh house. On the whole, first five houses shows the role of five elements and the invisible process of the creation. These are the origin points of five Jnanindriya, which are Satoguna, five Karmendriya, Rajasguna, and five Tanmantra, Tamasguna which includes smell, taste, touch, sound and vision. They are dharmas as the five qualities in the body. In the last six thousand of the invisible half shows the accumulated sanskara. Remember, this is the dhana bhava of the sanchit karma which are stored in the fifth house. That is the load on our shoulders to carry with on the journey to the visible world. And the mana as the sixth sensory faculty, indriya, joins here. And this mana gives us the taste, feelings of our weaknesses and sanskar in the form of Shad Ripu. To summarize the total concept of invisible half, we arrive at the conclusion that the journey started from the first house ends at the sixth house. And to proceed towards the visible half, we have to open the gate here. With load on our shoulders of our weaknesses and sanskara. Now, to activate the goal of self-recognition 
and to get the blessings of fire element and to enhance our dhi shakti, jnan shakti, right use of intelligence and overall personality, it must be activated. And this is possible only after unlocking the sixth house, door on the sixth house. This sixth house is the last room of darkness and this has to be opened to start the journey towards manifested world. This original law and the relation of first and sixth house applies on the first house of dharma by default of Kala Purusha Kundali. Same way it also applies on the rest of all Kendra houses which are the rest three goals of life. On this point of sixth house there are two ways to reach the seventh from the sixth which is the desired house of moksha that is the twelfth house the end of journey what exactly is twelfth house of moksha moksha to meet the creator or merge into the eternal no the real meaning of moksha is moksha from the weaknesses, the shadripu, which are present within us in the form of our sanskara. The first way is to directly jump to the twelfth house by burning the thoughts, Homa of the thoughts, recursion, Vairagya. But is it the true Vairagya? The true recursion comes with the time and after the consequent sufferings from our karma. And this is the law of nature that one cannot enjoy moksha in an impure form, which means without washing the karma. Sixth house, Shadrip, our weaknesses. The second option is the path of worldly affairs. Wash or earn more karma in this journey to reach the twelfth house. And that is the acceptable path of the creator. Continuation of the creation gati. Now we have to unlock this sixth house so that we can enjoy the significance of first goal of life. Wait my friends, here we have also to understand how to unlock it. For it, we have to go into little more depth. This entire creation is based on some dharma and the rest of the goal comes after that. And that is why the first house is known as dharma ayana. 
dharma goal. So keeping in mind dharma, we shall look at the significance of this sixth house in respect of dharma. And we found that this is the dharam bhava of karma, the tenth house. Here we got the key. Sixth being dharma bhava to karma is giving us the clue. Obey duties of the sixth house. And the duty is service to the mankind. No charge shows the religion of the person. The universal dharma is humanity. So, by fulfilling the dharma duties of the karma, one becomes eligible for the blessings of Lord Vishnu. Tenth house is also Vishnu Sthana and with his blessings given strength, you will be able to unlock the sixth house. And as a result, your first house will get activated. The right utilization of intelligence helps in smoothing the further journey of the visible half. Leave here the thoughts of weaknesses and shatripu. Obviously, they will also enjoy your journey as a co-passenger until you wash them. There is one more relation between the first house of intelligence and the sixth house of weaknesses. When the sixth house comes into the action, your intelligence becomes dormant. Maybe we think ourselves as a voice, but till then the wrong is done. This is the strength of the sixth house. By following the dharma related to sixth bhava, what we are getting? Lighten the load of sanchit karma, activating dharma goal and purifying our karma. In other words, see how this creation is interlinked. Activation of self, dharma goal, blessings on karma bhava and cleansing of sixth house altogether. Sanskara Manifestation of Sanchit Karma can be Shubh or Ashubh depending on how you earn those. If Shubha, it should it would be easy to unlock the sixth house. And in case of Ashubha, you have to face difficulties in unlocking the sixth house. Here is one more bitter pill. Remember this sixth house is not only your sanchit sanskara or weaknesses. This house is also the dhana bhava, accumulated wealth of your children too, second to the fifth. So, it is always better to face it, clear it yourself, otherwise your children have to pay 
as a family tax. You must have heard about such karma which subsequent generations had to pay off the tax of their forefathers. Afflicted sixth house proves this fact also. Death of the unborn. Say, there must be any flaw in the charts of the parents from the first to sixth house, and which can be further confirmed by making the Punya chart of the unborn if available. So, this is the sixth house. And remember, no mantra works or can remove the affliction of this house. Only blessings, service and forgiveness can do the good. Some of friends may be tired of this long philosophy, but I believe it is an essential part to understand the concept in total. Anyway, for those friends, I am briefing it now. So far, we have understood that sixth house demands service, help, to minimize the effect of shuddering. Service and help can be of any kind, depends on the nature of the planet involved. Now look at the planets influencing the sixth house. Those planets seek your attention. They are demanding something from you. Every planet has a personal say. Just pacify them with your service to the entity they represent. Once those demanding planets are satisfied, they would help you to unlock the door. To make this concept more clear, now I am going to take an example chart. The example chart belongs to Abhita Bachchan. Exalted Jupiter in the sixth house. Jupiter as a natural significator represent Guru and the elderly respected persons. His father was like a Guru to him. His dedication, love and service to his father is well known, which helped him to successfully unlock the door of sixth house. This Jupiter is lord of eleventh and second house. At one time he was in huge depths. But following Dharma of Jupiter, who also signify treasurer, he stands committed to repay the debts and he paid honestly. As a result, he also got the blessings of Lakshmi. Remember, this Jupiter is also his Dharakarak, having aspect on 12th house. What it is demanding? Demanding fulfillment of commitment, giving 12th house towards the spouse. He turned back 
from the affairs and fulfilled the dharma of the spouse. Dara Karak also stands for the wealth. All his these doings helped him to wash his weaknesses of sixth house and establish him with the unique recognition and fame as another Amitabh. The true activation of Lagna, the first goal of life. In the next part, we will also briefly discuss the specification of all the influencing planet as a house lord, as a karka, and as a sixth lord itself, and some example charts. If time permits, sometime I will share with you this concept in more fine way at the level of nakshatras where by default the unlocking door comes on the Chitra Nakshatra. To summarize, first house is the first goal. To activate it, unlock the sixth house. Tenth house is the second goal. Unlock the third house. Seventh house is the third goal. Unlock twelfth house. And the fourth house is the fourth goal. For it, unlock ninth house. Further, these logged houses in the Kal Pursha Kundli are the dual signs 3, 6, 9 and 12 which are known for Sattva Guna and these are assigned to Lord Vishnu the sustainer of the creation. Why he has the authority of these signs? Why he helps to unlock these houses? Why he wants to take you in the open air of his Maya? Is it because the Kendra goals are also known as Vishnu Sthana? My friend, this is the homework to think upon. In the last, some important notes. Rahu Ketu axis in these 3, 6, 9 and 12 houses. Unlocked houses shows some strong karmic influences and required tremendous efforts by the native to uplift their respective goals. Even then, not sure of the success. Second, look at the affliction in any of the third, sixth, ninth, and twelfth house in the chart. Understand it, these are indicating some deficiency in their relevant goal of life. Suppose affliction in the ninth house. Understand something is wrong with the fourth house. I hope my friends must have enjoyed the discussion. To follow up my coming videos on the selective topics of Vedic Astrology, you can subscribe on my YouTube channel or can follow me on the Facebook. 
थैंक यू ऑल फॉर योर लविंग प्रेजेंस मे लॉर्ड शिवा ब्लेस यू विद द डिवाइन नॉलेज